Jones is my name, and uh, chauffeuring Mrs. Gideon around is my game. Uh, and of course, cricket. Yes. <clears throat> Well, it's all a matter of uh, distance over time, isn't it? Yes, I've got the time, so you better keep your distance. Ha <laughs> ha! No, only joking. Uh, what I'm really talking about, of course, is speed and uh, how to determine it. Yes, and you won't go far wrong if you always remember that speed is distance over time. Speed equals distance over time. So if you cover 50 kilometres in half an hour, your speed will be 100 kilometres per hour. A graph helps to calculate your speed. Distance on the vertical axis and time on the horizontal axis. Starting off, I begin to cover a greater amount of distance in a shorter amount of time. This can be shown as an upwards curve on a graph. That is because my speed is increasing. Eventually, I reach a constant cruising speed, which is never over 50 kilometers an hour. No, never, never over 50. Unless, uh, of course, when it's over 60. Ha oh, ha, only joking. <clears throat> You can always tell, of course, when you've reached a constant speed because the uh, curve is a straight line. Yes, and you must always give a very good lookout in, in case anything untoward should happen. Yeah. Good grief! What do you know? This calls for an emergency stop! Uh, sorry about that, old chap! Oh dear, almost caught that little critter. Lady Gideon would never have forgiven me. Yes, she's a founder member of the RSPCA the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Aristocrats. Ha <laughs> ha! Only joking, of course. Right then, uh, the wonderful thing about making a graph of your journey is, uh, here here's my graph, is that uh, at any point along this curve, you can work out your speed. You see, the, this is the point where I started off. Here's, here's nothing there. I uh, gradually gained speed, and this straight line is my constant speed. Then I slowed up because that little critter jumped down in front of me. Look, there you are. He's squashed on that line there. Or, or not, as the case may be. Uh, right, uh, what if, for example, I wanted to work out my constant speed? Well, that's this straight line here. All I do is I uh, draw a line from the beginning down to the time axis. There you are. That's the beginning of my constant speed. And then uh, my constant speed ends around about there. there you are. I'll draw another line down. Smashing. And that gives me, uh, that gives me my time during my constant speed, which is uh, uh, 50 minus 20. That's 30 seconds, which, of course, is half a minute, if you're clever. If I want to find out uh, for how far I travelled at a constant speed, uh, I draw another line across here. There we are. goes to uh, 200. And another line, I trace it across. Uh, there we are, reach 700. There we go. Right, so uh, in order to find out the distance I travelled at my constant speed, it's 700 minus 200, which, of course, is 500. And uh, that time there was 30 seconds, that's half a minute. Now, 500 metres is, of course, half a kilometre. 30 seconds is half a minute. Speed equals distance over time. So that's 500 metres divided by 30 seconds, which is 16.7 metres per second. So what's that? That's uh, 60 kilometres an hour. Well, we can't all be perfect, can we? Mm. Anyway, yes, uh, when that little critter ran out, of course, I slammed on the anchors. Slammed them on. And uh, there we are. I slowed to a halt. But, of course, the time was still ticking. So my line carries on, but I'm not moving, so it's flat. A little bit like uh, I'll be when Mrs. Gidding claps around the head for being late. And with that in mind, I have to bid you farewell. Ta-ra, toodle-pip, and thank you. Ta-ra. <laughs> <laughs>